This is Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters we're going to discuss how to do multi-track recording with Audacity. Audacity is a free open source uh, digital sound editing software package. Uh, it's similar to SoundForge. Uh, open source software is free software where uh, a group of people work on the internet together to do the software as a project and they provide it to the public for free as a service. Audacity is one of the better open source projects. It, it works really well for a lot of things you may need it for. Uh, it doesn't have some of the higher end features that a commercial version would have but it has enough to do a lot of basic things including multi-track recording, editing sound, and uh, some effects on it. So I'm going to do a simple demonstration here uh, with some singing and uh, we'll start by recording our first track. Now the first thing you need is uh, I've got these earbuds on here as you can see. Um, you need headphones or earbuds plugged into your computer so you aren't playing anything through the speakers because what happens is when you record the first track and you come back and record the second track Audacity lets you hear the first track so you can kinda sing along with it if you have the speakers on the microphone is gonna pick up not only you singing but the first track playing back again and uh, you don't want that so let's go ahead and record our first track and I'm gonna do a count so I know when to start and uh, then uh, we'll go from there. One, two, three, four. Oh, the moonlight's fair tonight along the wall bash. From the fields there comes the scent of new mown hay. Through the sycamores the candle lights are gleaming on the banks of the Wabash far away oh far away All right we're going to go back to the beginning again you can see there's a graphic representation here of of my voice as I'm singing in these four peaks here one two three four and so the graphic representa representation can help you when you're editing it, editing it to figure out where things are and it can also help you uh, to see where um, sounds coming on when you're recording multi tracks so you can look at that partially as a guide depending on what you're multi-tracking. Alright, so now we're going to record the second track. One, two, three, four. Oh, the moonlight's fair tonight along the wall bash. From the fields there comes a scent of new mown hay. Through the sycamores the candle lights are gleaming. On the banks of the Wabash, far away, oh far away. Right, we will uh, turn it off there and stop. Now let's go back to the beginning and listen to it, see what it sounds like all together. One, here's the count. Two, three, four. Oh, the moonlight's fair tonight along the wall 
Calabash. From the fields there comes a scent of new-mown hay. Through the sycamores the candlelights are gleaming. On the banks of the Wabash, far away, oh, far away. All right, we will uh, turn it off there. And see, I left this uh, little bit of sound right here so I could show you something. So let's if we play that again. All right, we will uh, turn it off there. The ends of uh, these tracks and the beginnings of these tracks you can cut and edit. So after you record multiple tracks, like you might have a count at the beginning, like we have way up, let's go back to the beginning, like, like we have up here, the count, the four counts. So you can look at these four counts and you can see the actual audio starts here and you can you can s s set back here so that you can you can cut that part of the audio off and you may have other things on a track particularly if you're doing music where you you might have like say a drum machine and you might have it beating along with what you're you're playing and it may start out and you might start out after it ticks off four times a beat or something and you may want to remove that or or do a fade in from the beginning so you can do stuff like that so right here I'm gonna this is where I was talking at the end so I'm gonna cut that off I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna go edit and I'm gonna go delete so we got rid of that I can also kinda even even up here a little bit All right, that's a little more even there. So you can edit that like that, and you can edit the beginning off too after after you get done. Uh, some people put a synchronization track in, so they might have a drum machine in, and they'll use that as a synchronization track for all of the tracks, and um, they may remove that track after they're done. So you can actually put tracks in to use for synchronization or other purposes and then remove them later. All right, so let's... Um, well, we already played what it sounded like together and you, you heard the two voices together. And I've just showed you the editing uh, stuff. So let's do another little experiment here because you may say, well, you know, I don't really sing and I don't play an instrument, so what good would multi-tracking do me? So let's do another little uh, example here. Say you wanted to um, do more than one person clapping at a time. Let's do a real quick first track here. We'll stop that. Then we'll go back to the beginning and play it here. Stop that. All right, let's let's do go back to the beginning and record another track here. We'll stop it. See what that sounds like here. So now we have two people clapping. We'll stop it. And we can go back to the beginning again and record again here. We'll stop it. Go back to the beginning. Let's let's see what that sounds like here. So now we have a bunch of people clapping. That's that's a really simple example, but you can stop. do things like that where you can layer various sound effects on top of each other. Uh, and uh, the other advantage to doing that is if you record the track separately 
you might make one track louder. For instance, uh, you can put some gain on this center track here and here. So it sounds like um, so it sounds like this one person is closer up because they're louder. So it adds a little bit of depth to it. So that's that's another type of thing you can do. You can also there's a left and a right here, so you can have um, uh, you can have it sound like one person's more to the left, one person's more to the right. So you can mix it up a little bit more. Might have that like that. So if we go back. So that's another thing you can do. You can mess with the, the left and right channels. So you can remix it down however you want. And uh, so uh, I might do yet another track. Record it. Bravo, bravo. Bravo. So we stop that. And if I go back to the beginning and play it. Great. Bravo, bravo. Now, say I wanted to bring that down a little bit. Try it again. See, that sounds way in the background. But if I bring it up a little bit more. Bravo, bravo. Sounds farther back in the bravo. room now because it's lower. Now, if I bring it way up. Bravo, bravo, bravo. That was a little bit too much. You gotta be careful with that peak in the mean. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Be careful about peaking the meter. But anyway, you can see that you can make it sound like any track is farther back in a room or to the side or whatever by by messing with. Uh, the left and right balance and the uh, the uh, sound level. Um, you can. There's also a, a thing on here to mute any track if you want to hear what it's like without the particular track. So we can uh, mute, say this one and this one. So we should just have a clap and in the bra. Bravo, bravo, bravo. So, uh, so then you can mute it, and then once you're done with your tracks, you can uh, you get them all mixed up. You can save the project, so you can always go back and edit it. But you can export it as a wave or an MP3 using this program too for the final cut. And uh, if you're using the cut for a video, you can pull this into a video editing program once you have the cut mixed down to like a wave or an mp3 uh, i'm mungo dark matter and this has been dark matters and whatever you do enjoy technology